Okay, so now I'm doing an intro to this video, which I already, I wasn't planning on doing it, but throughout this video, I am talking like I'm uploading this video that you're about to watch on Sunday, which was Halloween, which was yesterday. And I wasn't able to upload or finish filming and definitely not editing because I, I still have to do that as I'm making this intro. So um, I just wanted to say, mention that because in the video you'll hear me talking like I'm still planning to upload on Halloween, but that didn't happen. So yeah, but thank you for being here. And if you want to see how I make these cute sailor bows, then keep on watching. I hope it's recording. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk like it is, but I got my new camera. If you can't tell, I think it looks better than my phone. I'd hope so. I don't know if I need a microphone or not yet, but I'll figure it out once I edit this. So I just wanted to hop on and say hello. It's Thursday now and usually I start on Mondays for I don't know what video I'm doing but the kids have been sick and they're finally starting to get better so I just wanted to make an intro for this video because I don't know when I'll be able to next um, just because my I'll have the my, ki my kids had a short week this week so um, yeah they'll be home um, but I did get an order today that I need to do. So I don't know if I'll show packing that. I mean, I guess I will. It'll be kind of fun to do with the new camera. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and then I have, it's weird to stare at the camera and like, like does it look like I'm looking at myself? Kinda, right? Anyway, and I think today's, not today, but this video is going to be making some sailor bows and maybe some scrunchies because I mentioned it last time. Um, I have, I made a version, so it's going to be kind of like this um, size. I'm going to make a little bit, um, alter a little bit. I know that big scrunchies are really popular right now uh, and this is bigger than what I normally would do but it's not like um, I can't even think of the brands like XXL scrunchie like they have a YouTube and then Taylor Rose has she started doing extra large scrunchies um, I've been wanting to do scrunchies in my shop, but since I'm closing it, um, a lot of my ideas have just died. But I actually, a little behind the scenes or sneak peek knowledge, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to do scrunchies, not just scrunchies, but one of the things that's going to be in my new shop are going to be scrunchies, um, just because I have so much fabric from my me made I don't want to toss it or do anything like that or have it sit around so I'm gonna do scrunchies for that so yeah but the scrunchies I'm making in today's video are gonna be for my mommy made shop um, I'm still I think I'm gonna do this size and then maybe my thinner size I'm not sure yet but I wanted to do the Christmas print that I showed in my one of my last videos or something last video or the video before i think last video so i'm gonna do sailor bows and scrunchies and that that print those prints so that's what this video is gonna be and i really hope it's recording because i think it is now that i'm looking at it because there's a number going i haven't like i don't read manuals when I get new things I do read instructions like if I'm putting something together but for cameras because it's so I don't know like 
they don't differ vastly camera to camera so we'll see but that is what today's video is going to be if you're still here <laughs> after all that um today's thursday i'm actually probably not going to film today just because everyone's in the house and um i like to film alone <laughs> where i can control the noise um and I don't have too much time. I don't know. I think I'm going to film. Oh, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. I might try and film today. I don't know. Just not right at this moment. So. But you guys won't know. Because the next clips you'll see are me making it. So. Anyway. Oh and Sunday's Halloween. So I don't know if I'm going to upload this on Halloween or on Monday. We'll see. So yeah. But I think that's all I have to say. And then some so okay i'm going to maybe i'll film something film today i don't know i really like this camera let me know what you guys think i was gonna do like an unboxing but i kind of showed the box and it's not really exciting i mean it's just a camera like look wise but like i'm really excited for it i hope that i can figure out how to upload it to my computer and stuff I just, it looks so weird. And it has like autofocus on it, like. Right? Oh, it's still picking up me. Look. It's focusing, it's focusing. It takes a minute, but. Yeah. And I like how it blurs the background. I have to mess with the settings. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to stop filming myself so goodbye okay so I am going to film not that you would have known any different so I'm gonna do my sailor bow first I'm gonna start with this one I don't have a taller tripod I guess I could stick this up or something but I'm not going to <laughs> I have a tutorial on how to do my sailor bow so I'm probably I'm not going to go into too much detail but I'll have that video linked below but if you want to watch me make them then this is the video for you I'll still say what I'm doing though so oh and I also in my other video I show how to make one of these um, for the tails, so yeah, I do like step by step how to do this. So I have that. Don't don't mind my outfit, okay? Because I know, I know, okay. I just know, but I haven't left my house all week. Not that I've been wearing this all week, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Aren't these cute though? <laughs> so, so this was on Etsy, but it's actually from Spoonflower. And I don't like that they are on Etsy, but I mean, it is what it is. But I feel like they shouldn't be. But it doesn't matter, because I'm not, you know. Let's see. You. Oh, and I don't wash my fabric before I make stuff out of it. I know some people do and some people don't. I guess it depends on what you're making. Um, but I don't. And this is for hair bows. So usually people don't wash hair bows. So yeah. Okay. I feel like you have to see my face when I talk. <laughs> Otherwise it's weird. And I don't have any of my supplies. I just have my fabric. And I think I'm only going to make three sailor bows per print. Just the prints that I'm going to make sailor bows out of. Because I don't 
know how well they're gonna sell and I don't want to waste the fabric on something that's not gonna sell because I can make these into scrunchies or something else for my new shop. So, but three because I know Everly is gonna have one, so kinda two. So, I'm going to get my stuff to make this. My measuring stuff. I need to pause this, but I don't know. Okay. So I have my notebook. This is so old. This is my first. Oh my so this is my first notebook when I first opened my shop. So it's really old. It has all my bow names and you know, sizes. So yeah. I have one of these. One of these. So the first part I'm gonna do is the bow part, and that is 2.75 inches by 5.75 inches. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I use a pen but you can use a pencil or you're not going to see through it. So. And then the middle part is one and a half inches by three, but I just add um, one and a half to the top of the bow part that we just did. So yeah. Because it doesn't matter how long it is, the middle part. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I need to figure out my, uh, what I'm going to do to edit this, like what editing program, I think I found one but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to drop that. So right now I just have, can you see those? And then that's the bow part, and then I just added an inch and a half, the same width as the bow, just to the top for that middle section. And then I'm just going to trace around my template. Probably won't show me doing this to all of the fabric, just because I don't know if that would be interesting yet <laughs> and then I know like other shops they have like things to like they'll do repetitive stuff but they're like talking about stuff so it's kind of interesting um I don't have anything to talk about maybe I'll think of something but um yeah It's rainy again today, and yeah, it's kind of nice because I don't have to pause. I used to have to pause every like minute to minute and a half, but this has been going for five minutes and 34 seconds, and I haven't paused once. I don't know if it's gonna work, but gosh, can you imagine? That would suck. It better. <laughs> 
Maybe I'll change the angle. So. I don't know. It's more. <laughs> nope. It's gonna fall. Is that? Is that a good angle? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Maybe? Yeah. Hopefully it stays. I can say that I took a little Instagram break after announcing I was going to close my shop or that I'm closing my shop and that's been nice. I don't have to worry about posting. I think that was like one of my least favorite parts of having a small shop, the social media kinda, just because a lot of it goes into it. Maybe I can, not that. <laughs> I need to put you guys on something. The social media part of it. Um, just, I need to put you guys on Please don't fall. That would be awful. Um, well now you can't see what I'm doing at all. I'm just cutting the fabric. But like thinking of what to post and just keeping up with all that was something I struggled with. Uh, Not so much taking the pictures because I had brand wrap, so I didn't have to worry about that. But just making sure your feed was like aesthetically pleasing and the vibe was like all the pictures met your vibe and stuff. Um, it was a lot. And then like all the sales and then the reels, the algorithms, like, with my new shop, I'm going to have to worry about that stuff too, but um, I don't think I'll be as hard on myself just because, I don't know, I'm wiser, I guess, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to be different. I'm worried that it's filmed for so long. I'm gonna cut these and then I'll be back. So I just cut all the fabric for the sailor bows and now I'm going to cut the fabric for the scrunchies. Okay, so I said I was gonna do scrunchies but I'm gonna save that for another video because I am running out of time. It's Saturday. No, it's not. It's Friday. But it's Halloween weekend, so I'm going to be busy. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do sailor bows in this video and um, pack those orders. I have that order I talked about the other day, and then I just got an order last night. So, But real quick, you're going to take these pieces and then fold them all in half. And then iron them like like that and then set it off to the side and for your longer ones iron it and then 
fold it to the middle and then fold that to the middle. So they both kind of meet in the middle. And then you're gonna iron that. So now you have just this tube. Help them in focus. It's kind of hard to tell. Ignore my tank top and my hair. Ignore everything. It's hot in my house. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. And then I fold it in half to make a little crease. And then you fold both of the bra edges to that middle bit. You just want them touching. You don't want them overlapping or anything. And then... Is that in focus? Voila. And then you can put something you can put something heavy on top of it if you want. I'm not going to because um I don't have the time. <laughs> um I can only film for like five minutes right now. So and then for these little guys, you're just going to fold it into thirds. So fold it like that. And then fold it up again. And then iron that. Okay. And then, I could just tell you guys, for these, you're just gonna sew around and then leave a little gap right here. Don't sew. And then sew, sew. So, and then, no. yeah, and then I will, I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you what to do after that. Okay. So what I did was I sewed it around and then I uh, ignore my nails. <laughs> I trimmed the corners off of each one. So now I'm just going to... Take that with some tweezers and just flip it out. Sorry if that was blurry this whole time. Is it gonna focus? I got a new camera, so I'm still figuring it out. Oh, this is my first time filming it. So it looks something like this, and I forgot to get a skewer thing, so hold on one second. So I just get one of these. And I dull it, just push it into the table or something. And then you just carefully poke out the corners. Is that, that is blurry. Like that. And then you'll have something like this, and then you're just gonna iron it. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of these, and then I will be back. Okay, so I just ironed them flat. <laughs> and I'm not gonna film making me making all of these because I needed it to get this video up so I think I'll do a, a gingerbread man first so what I do 
is I take a little bit of hot glue and glue these flaps down. So just a little dot. Oh, that was a big dot, but it's all right. And then to the other side. You want to sit? Yeah. Okay. Show. Okay. <laughs> you can bring the chair over. And then I'm going to fold fold this in half and then bring the front and the back, the top and the bottom back. So it looks like that. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, hold on. Okay. Like this. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle. And then flip it over and put a little glue here and there. You don't have to do... Well, it is easier to do glue because then that way you don't have to hold on to it. And then for this one, pretty much do the same thing. You want this to be back, fold it, and then this part back too. See? And then for this, I grab, and I don't know if I showed this in my last Sailor Bow tutorial or if I just glued it. You could just glue it, but I feel like Doing the thread does something, like it makes it snatched a little bit more. So I just wrap it around a few times. And then I'm going to tie a piece of thread and just pull tight and just make a knot. Like that. And then trim it. And then this way also, if something looks off, you can move these around because you didn't glue it. So, yeah. And then you're just going to stack them like this and add a little glue in between. Or I guess you could have wrapped it around too. I think that's what I, that's what I usually do. <laughs> I just got too scissor happy, I guess. So glue that and then this middle bit you're going to put a little bit of glue on the back like that and then put it on the bottom of the bow so this is the front of the bow, and then this is the back of the bow. So you want this to be hanging off. And then you just wrap it around, leaving a little bit for an alligator clip. Or if you're going to put nylon, like a nylon headband, you just put it on now. Which I gotta see if I have more, because I'm not going to make all of these complete, because I think I have some. So I'm going to wait. And then trim off extra bit and then fold it in on itself like that so you don't see the raw edge and then just tuck it under and put a little bit of glue right there and then push that down And kind of shape it a little however you want and then you have a little sailor bow and obviously you can make I like it when they're kind of the same size but there's some shops I know that make these longer and that looks cute or you could just make this bigger like this is 
Oops, this is probably one of the smallest sailor size, sailor, yeah, hair bow sizes that I've seen. And I kind of like it, the small size. So yeah, that's how I make my sailor bow, which I've already showed how to do this, but I did want to show my Christmas bows. So I'm going to do this off camera and then I can show you guys what holiday sailor bows are coming into the shop probably this week. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so here are the three sailor bow prints, the holiday ones, and how they turned out. And I think they're so cute. So I will be putting these in the shop sometime this week, hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, this video is kind of all over the place. I'm gonna flip this real quick. This video is kind of all over the place. Um, it's also late. Oh, the sun is coming out. Um, I'm just gonna have an intro explaining it and then this will just be my outro. So just thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this video. I'm sorry it was kind of repetitive because I feel like I just did a video on my sailor bows. But I did want to show the new prints. Oh, and I was going to do scrunchies with this, but I just didn't have time. So I think that will be um, in next week's video. I'm going to do like a vlog style of each of my days. So hopefully I can squeeze that in in one of the days. So yeah. But thank you guys for watching. And if you have any more video ideas that you would like to see from me, just Put them in the comments below and I will see you guys next Sunday. So, bye.